Crowns and hooves. Crowns and hooves. <laughs> there are many people, women, everybody wants to be called a diva, queen, boss, classy. They will quickly get a crown, put it on their head, but they have hoof mentalities. What's a hoof? Don't be found on an animal. And I'm not calling any of God's created beings animals, because we are not. But hooves, you will find it on animals that's in the wild, often run in the plains. They're subject to the elements. There's a certain, there's a certain habitation that you will find them in and they draw to certain types of foods and things that really comes from the land and the wild. You're gonna eat hay, straw, grass, all coming from what's on the outside, the outside elements. And for animals, this is okay. But what about God's creation who wants the crown but has the hood mentality? Satan wants to reduce us from the perfect created beings that God has made us. Where we're carrying ourselves in base ways. Trust me, I've been a part of the hood community at some point in my life. When we lose sight of who we are in God and try to take on the ways of the world. There's some people that they love to call themselves daughters of God. You know, that was one thing about me when I was in the world. I didn't want to, I don't want to play with God like that. You know, I'm a sinner. That's what I am. I don't want to try to touch anything holy and try to do stuff holy. I'm not right. And that's how I was. But there's people who they want to have crowns and still have those cloven hooves, that mentality. You're casting your pearls before swine on a regular basis and whatever scenario that may be. It could be being the other woman. It could be just, you know, Being in a situation that is just not convenient. Other sexually immoral situations could be just an urge to pleasure yourself. You have a lot of sex toys. You have the bullet. You got all types of stuff. You got the, you know, these little things that looks like a mini fire hydrant that you're using on yourself. And ladies, how can a human man be able to pleasure you when you're used to be able to turn that thing all the way up to the max speed and black out? What can a man truly do for you? What man will be able to fit if you are placing 10 foot Well, not foot, but you know, about between, you know, 15 to 16 inches sex toy with a circumference of what? It's just thick. Then on top of it, it has batteries. We can plug it in or it comes with a generator. What can a man do? He's going to seem lame, is he not? He can't keep up. He can't stop. He can't keep going. No, he cannot. Because you've taken what God has given you for reproduction and pleasure that by natural means, it's become bionic. It's used to machinery. 
But what you're not realizing is that when you're masturbating and you're doing these type of things, ladies, you're opening up yourself to filthy spirits. Filthy spirit. Things and, and forms, demonic things that you can't imagine because they're not created like us. When I say crowns and hooves, it means that sometimes people want to be classy, but you want to get things that's under the table. You want to eat what you're used to, what's been dropped. You're used to crumbs, but you still got this crown on. Your pearls have been long trodden on. Many will have the crown on, but you're running the planes. You're half woman, half horse. Galloping across the plains trying to get a man or somebody else's man. Chasing after things. Not realizing you're a daughter of God. I know that this may sound offensive to some, but guys, you gotta realize, we gotta see it for what it is and realize this is what the enemy wants. That's why we can end up getting ourselves hurt and being in relationships where that man just wanna get his rocks off and get up. You're talking about, I made breakfast. He don't want no breakfast. His urge has now been satiated and now guilt remorse or disgust kicks in the same way it can happen to us there's a desire and then it's 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 guilt that that comes up afterwards and so he just wants to get dressed and go okay so he leaves a damp towel in the bathroom you got that one tear rolling down your face That's a part of being in the hoof society. Where you're treated in a way that you need to be tamed, kept. But you don't get the same type of consideration as how do we keep animals, even in your pets? Things are already dictated and it's going to be thought out for them. There's no thought of what they think because you don't expect that a horse has no I mean they're beautiful creatures but you know what I mean you're not going to say what would you like me to give to you today and even if you're doing that you're not expecting an answer okay your input is not truly expected other than going along with what is happening at the moment and what's best for you without because there's no expectation that you would truly have an input and even if you do it's not going to be considered so there are many people that want crowns but you'll spend a lot of your life like a crash test dummy men coming in and out of your life becoming their better selves with you but not staying with you You're the advisor. You're the person that bring out the best in them, but they stay with their wives or they marry someone else or they go through their their growth process with you and now he's the best man he can ever be to her. You become pixeled, blocked, cut and paste. That's the crown with hooves lifestyle. You look classy, you sound classy. Doesn't matter how much education you have, you still lay with that woman's husband. It doesn't matter that you're the CEO of this night, you still have a nasty attitude. You have no control over your own spirit. You're still texting her husband. You're sleeping with her husband. Or you enjoy being the one to enter the room and make other people, other women feel less than. God wants to take us up higher.
God wants to remove you out of that. Remove you from the, the wild, the plains. You can't wear a crown. Yet you're trotting in hoods, ladies. You be the child of God. The daughter of God you're called to be. That means you get yourself out of the trough. You're not eating the slop. You're dressed up, you look good, but you eat slop. You sound good, you speak good, you own the bit, you own the building, you own the place, but your attitude's nasty. Because you're pixels, you're not perfect. You're not as together as you think. That's where the nasty attitude comes from. That's where you're jealous and you're beautiful, but you're still jealous. Can nobody else in the room look good? You're hiding hooves. You're not settled in spirit. You're not whole in your spirit. You're the strange woman. Because you're strange to yourself, but you pretty up all of that. And you want a crown. The best kings and queens are those who love their people and consider their people. And the son of God came to serve, not to be served. He wants to remove you from those dark places. He wants to give you beauty for ashes. Not the beauty you have created. Not the beauty that draws the attention of someone temporarily. Not the beauty that is used to trick. Not the beauty where you learn how to play the game to keep a man's attention. Because you don't have the natural the natural light of Christ that would draw the right person to you. Crowns and hooves. It means that you look good on the outside, but on the inside, you're shocked. In Revelation chapter three, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm going to quickly end this video. In Revelation 3, it says, 3 and 17, Because you say, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and, and you know not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. There's a lot of people that look good on the outside. That crown on your head that does not God's crown. But it's something that's conditional and you have to work for it and you have to pretend a lot because inside you're not fulfilled. Do not allow the enemy to rob you of the position that God wants, you put, wants to put you in that does not require you to compromise your body, yourself, have a nasty attitude, have this boss mentality, this diva mentality. That does not come from God. Hooves and crowns. Crown and hooves do not go together. Daughter of God, rise up, repent, seek God, bring him your ashes, and you're going to see how he's going to make you beautiful, restore you, heal you, build you. And anything that, anything that comes from God adds no, adds no sorrow. It adds no sorrow to others. And most importantly, it adds no sorrows to yourself. All right, guys. Peace out.